So this is the water loss dashboard. So we look at a few things. We look at what is uh, the amount of water we're selling? What is the amount of water we're not selling? How much did we purchase? How much did we produce? And then how much did we lose? Now there's a lot of ways to calculate water loss. So for Lebanon, we focus on in two areas. We focus on not sold percentage. That is, we produced this and we sold this. So obviously we lost a certain group. The next way we look at it is we, we take the PSC water loss uh, formula and we look at PSC water loss. Now, Levin is a municipal system, but they do sell water to a water district, which means PSC regulates them on their rates to the water district. So that's why we're concerned with the PS, uh, PSC water loss because that can come into when they're looking at rate studies and stuff like that. So what this dashboard does is, first off, we track the water. The graph at the bottom is the water purchased and produced over the years. So if I wanted to just see this year compared to last year, I can quickly turn off 2016, 2017, 2018. And I'm left with 2019 and 2020. 2019's in yellow, 2020's in green. So you can see that we're actually using a little bit more water than last year. And, that's, and, and that says something because Lebanon's done a great job in reducing the amount of water they produce. They've, they've reduced water loss. So each year, they always produce less water. But these are a little different times right now, and, and we're seeing that we're producing more water uh, than normally we would. So for Darren to sit here and, and make decisions, to show this to the board, it's a very concise way to do this. Now the beauty of this dashboard was that we purposely built this here in Lebanon, but we used the existing uh, Kentucky Rural Water Association Excel file that they give to all their members that helps them track water loss. And it's, it's got a lot of calculations, it does a great job. We take that Excel file, we fill it out, and then we just upload it to ArcGIS Online and it fills out this dashboard automatically. So for, for systems across the state, they could use this model to quickly uh, use ArcGIS Online, use an existing Excel file and do that. And that's the power of ArcGIS Online. You don't have to rebuild everything. You can use some good existing technology out there.